Hello, today on the Fitz Magic Show, I'm gonna show you how to build your own stage platform for your backyard, for a church, for a theater, wherever you want, using buckets. Hey Trickster, John Fitzsimmons here. Welcome to the vlog. It's been a while and this one's a little bit different. I'm gonna show you how to make your own stage riser, just like that one right there. That's actually two, two, not four, two, four foot by four foot stage decks and they are on pickle buckets. It's like five gallon paint buckets, but used for pickles. I made like a little tutorial video. I made a lot of this a while ago, so it's we're gonna dive into that and I'm gonna show you some more stuff. But basically it's two four foot by four foot sections with a pickle bucket on each corner. Just ignore that for the legs. And then uh, I used a carpet, like an outdoor carpet that's Velcro friendly. So you could Velcro a stage skirt on there. Um, we ended up just stapling it on because we ran out of time to make one but we are set for that. Here, just check out the video. I'll show you how it's done. Wiped out on plywood, so we ended up at Lowe's. We've got a sheet of four by eight, three quarter inch plywood here that's been cut in half. And then uh, we've got some two by threes that we're gonna use as kind of edge supports. Uh, we're gonna cut circles out of those half inch pieces of wood right there. And then uh, this is a pickle bucket stage. We're gonna make the legs out of pickle buckets. Why pickle buckets? Well, because at uh, Firehouse, Firehouse Subs, you can get pickle buckets for $2. They're five gallon buckets that they use to store pickles in to transport to the store. And then you donate $2 to their charity and they give you the buckle bucket. I can't talk right now. What's up? I haven't done this in a while, guys. I'm a little rusty. Uh, so those are gonna be the legs. So what does that look like here? We'll cut to an image from the future so you can see what that looks like. Here it is. Pretty cool, right? Now we're gonna make the stage. I'm gonna start putting the edges on the, the decks there and then uh, we'll move forward. So I'll kind of keep you posted as we go. All right, so I have the first deck cut out. Well, it's already cut, I guess. And then uh, we put the two by threes along the edges here. And uh, the girl at Lowe's didn't do a great job cutting the wood and it's kind of warped. So we're doing the best we can with what we have. But so far it's coming out pretty good. Azzy says I'm doing good, huh? Yeah. Now I'm helping Daddy. Yep, now she's out here helping me. So these are the pickle buckets I was telling you about. They are and from these are the legs. Firehouse Subs. And you can buy these for, you're actually donating to their charities uh, for two bucks and they give you the bucket and the lid and it's food grade, which doesn't really matter for our purposes. But now we're gonna attach these to the riser and then the uh, the buckets will become the legs. So let's try it out and see how it goes. The stage is, uh, we're mocked up right now. We're just trying it out. The lids have not been mounted yet. Azzy, what do you think so far? It's good. It's good? You like it? Uh -huh. Yeah? I think it's gonna be pretty good. But we're gonna, we still need to paint it. We're gonna mount the lids to the bottom and they'll stay there and then the uh, buckets will come on and off yep. when we want to store it or use it. Yep. Hence the pickle bucket stage. Okay, gang, here's a uh, quick update. We cut these circles, right? We've got eight of them for this one deck. And basically what I'm doing is I'm mounting the lids to the deck uh, with spacers. These are spacers. So one, let me grab another one here. What you're missing is the awesome smell of pickles that has overtaken our entire garage. So you take a circle, this one I cut a little too small, so I'm gonna use this one. And it goes inside the lid. It's almost perfect. Perfect, so that it's not pulling too much on the lid there. And then this goes here, and I'm using these little spacers. I just happen to have. Just like that. Kind of butting it up against the spacers. And then putting screws in, just like this. And then you take another circle, and you put it on here and screw it on top as well. Uh, that's how they did it on the videos I watched and it just makes it really strong. Then your buckets go on there, pop on and off. They also pulled this ring out so it's easier to take it apart and put it together. I think I'm gonna leave it in because I think it's gonna make it sturdier and I don't think I'm actually gonna be taking this apart very often, so that's what I'm doing. So right now, we're just putting on all of our lids in our, our spacer. So all of the circles have been mounted with the uh, inner circle, the the top and then the outer circle, very sturdy. 
Uh, I've already started putting buckets on. And they snap in. And then we got this. Daddy, I sent this out to What do you think? Here we go, the buckets are mounted. There's our 4x4 four four riser and our cute Azzy. Rocking it out. Show me what you got. <laughs> it gets a success. It's a little wobbly, but I think that's just uh, the ground might not be level where it's at. It's going to be on a paper patio, so we'll see how well that goes over. So after I constructed the two decks, um, I covered them with carpet and I bought, just bought some carpet for like indoor outdoor use at Lowe's. I glued it on one riser and stapled it on the other because I ran out of glue. Both seemed to work fine. There's an airplane taking over our shot. Uh, however, I would recommend gluing if you can. It was, worked out very well. I, I trimmed off the edges really nice. And then uh, I drilled some holes, some uh, 5 8 inch holes and ran half inch bolts through, uh, just like carriage bolts with big washers to join the two decks together. And it, it's solid. Uh, then we, we just stapled the skirt on there. And uh, real quick, here's a look at what the, the bolts holding the risers looks like. So uh, in conclusion, I guess it's really simple to make. It costs probably about 150 bucks by the end of it with the, the fabric and the glue and uh, the wood glue and the, all the screws, I mean, everything. Uh, the pickle buckets were really cheap. Uh, again, we got those at Firehouse, but you can use paint buckets if you have used paint buckets. You can, you can check Facebook and probably find some used, um, and maybe even for free in your area. And then, um, well, if you have any questions, put them in the comments because you know I don't really do tutorials often, so I may have missed some details, uh, and I'd ha be happy to answer any questions you have. But yeah, it's this thing is solid. We had like 20 kids on here, and it did not move. It's on cobblestone and it's still very rigid, I think, because the buckets are a little bit flexible on the bottom. Uh, <laughs> okay, so here's one final note. Uh, I made two four foot by four foot sections. I kind of regret that now. My thinking was I could put it in my car. I have like a Ford Edge a little SUV thing. I was thinking I could put it in the back of the car and drive it to my gigs and everything. Turns out they're too big. It's not gonna be practical. I'm not gonna be able to do that. So instead I wish I made a four foot by eight foot riser. And if I did that, I probably would still use eight buckets and I'd put them in the corners, in the middle, and then probably one in the middle of each four foot section. Kind of like a, what would that be? an eight in dominoes, I guess. If you look at it, number eight on a domino, you'd know exactly what I mean. Um, and I, I do that instead. If you're at a venue, like a church or something, and you're gonna use these as your, your risers, I think that's probably the best way to go. They're a little heavy, but uh, if you're not hauling them in and out of a car all the time, I think it'll be fine. Um, so there you go. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I know we don't really make tutorials a whole lot anymore. So I may have missed some details and I'd be happy to help you out if you have any questions. Thanks for watching the Fitz Magic Show. Hit that subscribe button. I've got like over 365 magic videos on this channel and uh, I'll be making some more soon. To my regular viewers, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Boom. Hey, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like videos just like this, please do us both a favor and click the subscribe button. Below that, you'll find the latest Fitzmagic show, and below that, you'll find a video recommended just for you. Thank you for watching, and click the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button.